The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. It's been four years of struggle, prayers, and heartbreak for the Real Housewives stars Gretchen and Slade as they've tried to start a family. And we've been there every step of the way. Slade and I have known each other for 15 years now, and about a year ago, we got engaged. She proposed to me, and it was a grand affair. Well, I always knew that I wanted to be a mother. Slade knew that it was something that was very important to me, but he also told me he had a vasectomy. They do a lot of vasectomy reversals. The problem is it's a long recovery process. I'm now 36 going on 37 next month, and I was starting to get scared. We just decided that the in vitro was a quicker way to make things happen for us. So tomorrow morning, it's my egg retrieval surgery. Slade gets his testy surgery the same day. So how are you feeling about tomorrow? They're going into man, man land. Man land. Yeah. Do you know you can't have sex for a week? Where did it say that? The egg retrieval procedure is basically D-Day for us. It's either it's gonna happen or it's not. It was very exciting that day because um, I came out and I heard that I had 19 eggs. And then the next day we found out that 14 of them fertilized normally and so we were just super thrilled and everything looked like it was going just perfect for us. And then unfortunately on day five, we received the news that they weren't progressing the way that they should be. And um, on day six, we lost, we lost all the embryos. Are you all ready to try another treatment? Is that, is that the plan here? It was a very difficult uh, few days. I think we're gonna wait a beat and we're gonna take a deep breath so that I'm physically feeling healthy, mentally feeling healthy, and then definitely gonna try it again. After we were on the show, I started thinking I could certainly go in and have the reversal done. And potentially we can try getting pregnant naturally. So we're going to make an incision in the scrotum, one on each side, come down onto where the vasectomy scar is, cut out that vasectomy scar, and then reconnect the ends back together. How are you feeling? <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Is part of your coaching in this, because Gretchen and Slade have been through so much, to not put too much pressure? You're absolutely right about taking the pressure off because now he has the opportunity for, this, for both of them to have natural conception. After Slade's vasectomy reversal, they were not able to get pregnant naturally. So, four rounds of IVF and two years later, Gretchen recently underwent an embryo implantation. Today's a very special day for us because it is finally implantation day and it's been a long four years to get to this day. Gretchen and Slade are here to do a prepared embryo transfer to attempt to conceive. And I've been taking meds for the last month. The embryo was produced in vitro. It was tested genetically, improving the chances of it implanting normally. We are excited, but we're definitely a little nervous. It's time. time. <laughs> Everything looks terrific. So we're right where we want to be. Transfer went well, and we'll hope that she has an implantation in 10 to 12 days. My shining star. <laughs> it's going to be our baby, hopefully. <laughs>